Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Buenos dias a todos y feliz viernes. Today we're going to read about cookies and a mouse. Hoy vamos a leer de galletas y un ratón. So if you want to act the story out, you need to get a few things. Si quieres representar esa historia, Van a, van a necesitar algunas cosas como galletas y leche. You might need some cookies and milk. Do not recommend scissors for a haircut. A broom and a mop to clean your floor. Good morning, Ollie. Um, a pillow and a blanket. Good morning pose. Just showing some things that you might need if you want to act out the story. You might need some paper and crayons. Oh, I forgot to say this one in Spanish. Um, una almohada y una colcha. Papel y colores. Cinta, tape. That's mostly it. So I hope you guys know the story. Espero que ya conocen esa historia because it's really good. Okay, es muy bien. One of my favorites from when I was a kid. Fue uno de mis favoritos cuando era niña. Um, and there's a whole series, of course. Uh, por supuesto, hay una serie. To give a moose a muffin. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. And there's a bunch more now that they didn't have when I was little. Um, hay muchos más ahora que no uh, tuvieron cuando yo era niña. But they're very funny. Son muy cómicos. And very cute. Muy bonitos. All right. So let's start off singing. Vamos a empezar cantando. My sister gave me this guitar strap when I was turning 16, I think. And I always used to take it when I was going to little concerts in Nashville and get people to sign. Who knew that half my life later would be on TV since you guys are, you know, TV. Hey, other Ollie. Both our Ollies are here. Um, did you see we're going to read if you give a mouse a cookie? Just like you guys have that one about the dog or the duck in the donut. I forget what it is. But anyway, great series. Oh, I don't know what cake was. I'm just going to have to sing a little bit. What would I have done with my capo? I do not know. Oh, here it is. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I'm sure nobody else is a mess right now. Right? Okay. Let's think about colors. Vamos a cantar de los colores with red is rojo. Red is rojo, red is rojo, blue is azul, blue is azul, yellow is amarillo, yellow is amarillo, their day is green, their day is green, black is negro, black is negro, blanco is white, blanco is white, purple is morado, purple is morado, brown cafe, brown cafe. Pink is rosa, pink is rosa, Greece is gray, Greece is gray, Orange and Aranjado, Orange and Aranjado, shout hooray, shout hooray. All right. Well, we got to sing some animal songs since we're reading about an animal today. Let's count the elephants. Vamos a contar los elefantes. 
Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fue a llamar a su elefante. Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fue a llamar a su elefante. Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fue a llamar su elefante. Cuatro elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fue a llamar su elefante. Cinco elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fue a llamar su elefante. Wow, I think that might have been the first time I didn't mess up on fueron and veían que resistía. So, keep trying, guys. <laughs> um, all right, oh, I don't even know my song behind me. You wake up. All right, let's do head, shoulders, knees, toes. So everybody can stand up. Para imponerse de pie. Para cantar cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies. Hello. Hola. Are you guys ready to sing? Todos listos para cantar? Espero que sí. I hope so. All right. Wow. Sometimes voices just come out of them. I know say por qué. And I don't know why. Okay, ready? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right. Let's sing about, hey, Cherry, the little chicks. Los pollitos. We'll sing English and Spanish in the verses. Los pollitos dicen pío, 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 cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío. All the little chicks say peep, 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 when they are cold and when they want to eat. La gallina busca el maíz el trigo, les da la comida y les presta abrigo. Mother hen brings them corn and wheat, that will warm them up and that will let them eat. Baja sus dos alas, macuro caritos, hasta el otro día duermen los pollitos. Underneath their wings wrapped up so tight, till the next morning the chicks sleep all night. All right. Let's do the itsy bitsy aranya. <coughs> La araña pequeñita subió, 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 vino la lluvia y se la llevó, salió el sol y todo lo secó, y la araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. The itsy bitsy spider went off the water spout, down came the rain and washed the spider out, out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, let's sing De Calores before we read the book. De Calores, De Calores se viste en los campos en la primavera. De Calores. De 
colores son los pajaritos que vienen de fuera. J colores, J colores es el arco iris que vemos lucir. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. All the colors, all the colors, oh how they dress up the country in springtime. And the birds, oh the little birds, how they come back to us from outside. All the colors of the rainbow shining bright in the sky. <laughs> and that's why a great love of all colors makes me feel like singing so joyfully. And that's why a great love of all colors makes me feel like singing so joyfully. All right, did that one from memory. Didn't get all the English words. Eh. Oh well. All right. So, oh, I forgot to look for a mouse. Okay, I know I don't have a mouse puppet, but I remember before I used the kangaroo because it's gray and it has those big ears. Oh, I have too many puppets. I need to get like different containers for different ones. And I'll just hunt. Oh. See, it's like a mouse, kind of. It's close. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really look so much like a kangaroo anyway, right? We can use our imagination. Okay. I don't know, kind of looks like a dog. I don't know. No sé qué parece. Also, I put it on the wrong hand and we will turn the pages. If you give a mouse a cookie, si le das una galletita a un ratón, I want a cookie, please. Quiero una galletita, por favor. <laughs> oh, I always feel so silly. If you give a mouse a cookie, si le das una galletita a un ratón, by Laura Joff Numeroff, illustrado for Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, si le das una galletita a un ratón, what's gonna happen? Que va a pasar? What does he want now? Que quiere ahora? I know, yo sé. Do you know? Tu sabes? Te pedirá un vaso de leche. He will ask for a glass of milk. Una vez que le has dado el vaso de leche, once you've given him a glass of milk, they'll probably ask for a straw. Posiblemente te pedirá un sorbete. Anyone else not know where the straws are in their house? Alguien no sabe dónde están los sorbetes en su casa. Cuando hay terminado, te pedirá una servilleta. When he's done, he'll ask you for a napkin. Después, quiera mirarse en un espejo para asegurarse de que no tiene leche en el bigote. Afterward, he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Al mirarse en el espejo, se dará cuenta de que su pelo necesita un recorte. When he looks in the mirror, you'll realize that he needs a haircut. See, you can tell because he has one long hair. <laughs> Así que posiblemente te pedirá unas tijeritas. So he'll probably ask you for some little scissors.
Cuando se haya recortado el pelo, queda una escoba para barrer el piso. When he has cut his hair, he'll want a broom to sweep the floor. Comenzará a barrer. He'll start to sweep. Se entusiasmará tanto. He'll get so excited. Que terminará barriendo todas las habitaciones de la casa. That he'll finish sweeping every room in the house. I love this picture of the mouse. Me encanta ese, ese dibujo de él. Ratón. Incluso hasta levará los pisos. He'll even mop the floors. Una vez que ha terminado, probablemente querrá dormir la siesta. Once he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You guys, when I was little, I felt like I could smell these illustrations. They're so good. Cuando yo era niña, siempre me sentía que podía oler las ilustraciones. Ilustraciones. Son muy buenos. Le tendrás que preparar una cajita con almohada y colcha. You'll have to make him a little box with a pillow and a blanket. Se acomodará en la cama y sacudirá la almohada varias veces. He'll get comfortable in the bed and shake out his pillow a few times. Le leerás un... Oh. Oh, yeah. Le leerás un cuento de uno de tus libros y te pedirá que le enseñes los dibujos. We'll read him a story from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. Al ver los dibujos, le gustarán tanto que él también quiera dibujar. When he sees the pictures, he'll like them so much that he will want to draw too. Te pedirá papel y lápices de colores. He'll ask you for paper and colored pencils. Or maybe that means crayons. I don't know. Hará un dibujo. He will make a drawing. Anyone else like to draw? ¿Alguien más le gusta dibujar? A mí sí, I do. I'll, I always loved this picture too. Siempre me encantaba ese dibujo. Look at this picture he made of his family. Like, it's really good. The family and their little house and the sunset and everything. Cuando haya terminado el dibujo, Quiera firmarlo. When he's finished his drawing, he'll want to sign it. Con una pluma, with a pen. Little fun fact, pluma can mean feather and it can mean pen, which makes sense if you think about where we got pens from, because we used to get pens from feathers and put ink inside with a little inkwell. I never really thought about that. <laughs> Nunca pensaba en eso antes. <laughs> Entonces, quiera pegar el dibujo en la puerta del refrigerador. Then, when he, then he'll want to stick the drawing on the door of the refrigerator. Y para eso necesitará, and for that he will need, Cinta adhesiva. Ad, I knew I was going to mess that up. Cinta adhesiva. Sticky tape. Pegará el dibujo y dará unos pasos hacia atrás para verlo mejor. He'll stick up the drawing and then take a few steps back to see it better. Al ver el refrigerador, when he sees the refrigerator, se acordará de... He'll remember que tiene sed, that he's thirsty. In Spanish, we say, I have hunger and I have thirst, instead of I am hungry and I am thirsty. So you say, tener hambre, tener sed. 
Aunque en inglés decimos que yo soy o yo estoy hambriente o celoso. En español decimos tengo sed, tengo hambre. Así que, so, oh, can you see him, the little mouse? Te pedirá un vaso de leche. He'll ask you for a glass of milk. Y es casi seguro que si te pide un vaso de leche, and it's almost for certain that if he, if he asks you for a glass of milk, he'll want a cookie to go with it, right? Te pedirá una galletita. Can you see him getting his cookies out of the bag? Lo pueden ver uh, sacando su galletita de la bolsa con el muchacho, with the boy. The end, El Fin. Mm, me encanta esta historia. I love this book. So good. So you guys should make your own story because there's already a series. So give a moose a muffin, give a cat a cupcake, give a dog a donut, give a... All right, I'm going to pull something out and we're going to think of something that can eat. Ooh. Oh, they already had this one. Pig. If you give a pig a pancake, um, or you could give it something else. If you give a pig a party, if you give a pig a, I mean, pigs like everything. So if you give a pig a, hmm, a cookie. Yeah. What about if you give a butterfly something? If you give a butterfly a flower, they'll probably want another flower. I don't know what butterflies like. Ooh, how about this? Si le das a un mono una banana, if you give a monkey a banana, I'll probably ask you for, I don't know. You can make your own story. You can make your own pictures. Puedes hacer tu propio historia y dibujos. Or you could give yourself something, okay? You give a girl a graham cracker. <laughs> Um, should probably ask you for some peanut butter. I like to do that. I like to put peanut butter on my graham crackers. When she puts on the peanut butter, she'll have to wash the knife right away because she doesn't want it to sit around in the sink all day. When she goes to the sink, she's going to see all the dishes that she hasn't done. Then she'll start to do the dishes, but she'll say, mm, I want to listen to a podcast. So she'll go and get her AirPods and her phone. She picks up her phone. She'll probably see a notification from Facebook. And then she'll get on and see, oh, it's almost time for bilingual story time. So she'll get a book and it'll be about food. And chances are when she sees that it's about food, she will eat her graham crackers with peanut butter. The end. Obviously just made that up on the spot. You guys can make your own story. <laughs> All right. A um, couple more minutes. What did we not sing yet? Let's do La Bamba. Let's get up and dance. Para bailar La Bamba. Para bailar la bamba se necesita una poca de gracia, una poca de gracia. Necesitas arriba, 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 por ti seré, por ti seré, por ti seré. Bamba, 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 bamba. 
Oh, I forgot to do the hello song at the beginning. It'd be kind of silly to do it at the end, right? But you know me, I'm pretty silly. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Yo bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Adios, <laughs> adios, adios, quien tenga buen día. Muy bien, muy bien, que tenga un día muy buena. Goodbye, 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 and have a great day. See you later, hasta luego. Making this up as I go. It's 10.30. You guys have a great weekend. Nos vemos el lunes. See you Monday. Que tengo un buen fin de semana. I don't know if you guys are starting to go out of your house and do stuff very much. We're not really here. We still have school for another full week next week and then four days the week after. No sé si están saliendo de la casa para hacer, hacer muchas cosas. A mí no, y faltamos nueve días más de escuela. But, I don't know, let me know what, uh, you guys want to still do something in the summer. Deme saber si quieren hacer algo durante el verano. I know it's already like summer to some people. Ya está el verano para algunos. Not here. Doesn't feel like summer, and it's not summer break. No siente como el verano y no es el descanso de la escuela, but soon, pero pronto. All right, let me know. Deme saber. Adios. <laughs>